welcome back to our channel ability to learn by discovery day program happy friday as we say goodbye to april let us welcome may with more educational videos we have ian to thank for today's content thank you ian okay ready set program start Hey guys, welcome back. Happy Friday. I'm coming to you from my backyard. Thought I'd get some fresh air today. Hopefully you guys can get out and get some fresh air too. Um, I have a game for you today and I'm going to call it Fitness Charades. So let me explain how the game works before we start. So I have a bowl of different sporting activities or um, games things that you can act out. So what I'm going to do is pick one of these and I'm going to read it to you. I'm going to read the sport or um, activity you're going to be doing and then we're going to act it out together. So let's do a sample. First one says swing a golf club. All right. We're going to come back over here, and we're going to do our charades. All right, swing a golf club. One, keep your head down. Two, let me see you swing a golf club. Good, do it again. Swing a golf club. Bring your arms back over your shoulder. Good. One more time. All right, so that's how it's going to go, and we're going to keep doing that for the rest of our papers. All right, let's get started, and I'll add some music. All right, guys, here we go. We're going to shake up our charade bowl. Let's reach our hand in there and pull out our first, oh, no, it's all stuck together. Our first charade. Open it up. All right, get ready because we are gonna go skiing, even though it's like 80 degrees outside. All right, give yourself ample room and whoosh, whoosh. Down the hill we go, faster, lean forward. It kind of looks like I'm doing the cat daddy dance, if anybody out there knows what that is. All right, lean forward, now you try. Good, you're doing way better than me. I was never a skier, but I'm coming. I'm coming. This is fun. Are you guys having fun? All right. It is hot out there today, but it's a good thing we're skiing. <sighs> Let's pick another one. All right. Shake, shake, shake. This one, I want to see you do it with me. Jeez, who picked a post-it notes to do this with? All right. Next one. Swim underwater. Seems easy enough. If only I had a pool. All right, here we go. Down, down, down we go. And swim. Scuba. Wow, you guys are great at doing the breaststroke underwater. Now me, I hate opening my eyes underwater, but you guys look good. All right, let's see it. Great job. This is kind of funny. All right, next up, our fit and charade is going to be, dun da da dun. Aha, pitch a baseball. All right, come on, let's go. All right, warm up your arm. Do some windmills, stretch your arms. All right. Now, get ready. You're gonna stand on the pitcher's mound. No, Emily, turn the other way. There you go. All right, stand on the pitcher's mound. And 95 miles an hour. All right, that was just a warm up. I can go faster. All right, let me talk with my catcher. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right. And 200 miles an hour. Woo! Burning rubber out there. All right. You guys know how to pitch a baseball. Next up. Yeah, this was a bad idea. Just 
clumped together. Should have used paper that was not sticky, but I only have limited resources. All right, next up is our running. Oh gosh, all right. If you cannot run, you can do it in a chair just like that. Three, two, one, on your marks, it's a go! That's me when I'm running after donuts. Go, go, go! Ah! Or I'm getting chased by a swarm of angry bees. That's the only time I ever run in my life. Oof, what a workout. Now, remember, if you are seated, you can do these movements in your chair, like you're pretending to run. Pretending to run is always better than actually running, okay? Anyways, let's forget about running. Our next activity is going to be... Da, 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 da. Bicycling. All right. Now, I don't really know how I'm supposed to do a bicycle while I'm standing up. So I'm going to do my best at pedaling and maybe I'll just pretend that my arms are the bicycle pedals. Yeah, that's the best that I got. Can you guys do a better bicycle? Let me see you guys pretending to ride a bicycle. Yeah, that one was kind of a wash. Hopefully the next one is better, let's see. Surfing, all right. Now, I did see a lot of people over at Huntington Beach this weekend, but that is not good. So come on, we'll do it in the backyard and we'll just pretend to be surfing. Ba 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 All right, let's see you surf. Surfboard. Surfboard. Hang loose, brah. I'm having too much fun out here, guys. All right. Next up. We should play this game at the day program. I like it. Minus the running part. All right. Batting a baseball. All right. Now, we all miss the angels, don't we? But when we do finally see them again, we see them step up to the plate. They dig their heels in and they practice a couple swings. They wait for the pitch and boom. They knock it out of the park. And then what they do is they watch it to see just how far it goes. And then usually it hits a car in the parking lot. But let's try it again. All right, step up, get your stance ready, elbow behind your head, and step and swing. Whew. This is a great ab workout, you guys. Money, I'm a pro. I'm a pro batter. I'm like Mike Trout. Also, Mike Trout, I'm available to be sponsored for this video. All right, we are still looking. We still have a bunch of charades left. But unfortunately, they're stuck together because life. Disco! All right, so this is not a sport, but it's an activity. Let's, okay, this is gonna be embarrassing. Oh dear, what are you doing? Stop it, no, no. Oh man, that is some dedication. I'm just doing this for you clients, okay? I don't dance. I'm doing this for you. All right, let's see your disco moves. I believe in miracles since you came along. Yeah, I should stop singing too. Self-destruct sequence activated. All right. Now. Next up. Ping pong. Did you know that ping pong is actually an Olympic sport? All right. Get your wrists ready. All right. Now these people kind of like jump back and forth and watch out. Ciao! Backhand! Get ready. Oh! Oh! Ciao! Ping pong paddles are also called blades for those who play the sport actively. Thanks, JR, for that move. I like that move. I'm gonna copy it. Ka-choo! Pow! Great job. It's all in the wrist. All in the wrist. <sighs> Need a wrist guard. It's on fire. All right. Next up. You guys having fun with this game so far? Not gonna lie, it's pretty hot out today. But hopefully you guys are inside and staying safe and healthy. Next up, we are going to play basketball. So, you can dribble a basketball. I'm doing it between my legs. I think that's what I'm doing. Uh-huh. 
Dribble between your legs and pop it up for the jump shot. Shoo. Dribble between the legs and jump shot. Jump shot! All right, let's see you guys do it. Dribble it, jump shot. Good job. I know you guys like basketball. We play that a lot. Our next sport is boxing. Okay, this is the dance, right? No. Okay, oh, oh, oh. Boxing, like we did in yesterday's activity. Oh, you guys already know how to do this. Jab, jab, cross, 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 jab, uppercut, uppercut. Uh, more jabs. Yeah, you guys know how to do it. Oh, oh, why are you hitting me? Oh, you guys have some strong arms now. Very nice. Woof. That's enough boxing. I don't want to get hurt anymore. Alrighty. Here comes kicking a soccer ball. Alright, now soccer, as you know, is only with your feet. So you're going to dribble it. That's what they call when you pass it back and forth between your feet. Line it up and shoot! Of course I scored. If this is imaginary sports. Of course I'm going to score. Shoot! There we go. Well, I played soccer when I was four, so basically I'm a genius. I'm just kidding. I was just the goalie, and I got hit a lot. All right, soccer, thanks for the memories. We have just a few more left. Here comes our next activity or sport, archery. So, archery is the one with the bow and the arrow. So you have your bow, you load it with the arrow, you pull it back, and like just like that, bring it back by your ear, and then release. And you should hit your target. So put your arrow on your bow, pull it back, bring it eye level, and release. Now, I also did archery in Girl Scouts, so basically, I am just a warrior, like Mulan. I don't know if that's true. But, I do want to see the new Mulan movie. Hopefully, it's coming out soon on Netflix or something. I want to watch it. Oh, speaking of Hulu, we have our next dance is the Hulu, where you sit and you watch TV. Yes, I'm turning on my computer, and I'm eating popcorn, and I'm watching my favorite shows on Hulu. What? It's not Hulu. Oh, it's hula. Like the dance. Okay, let me see if I can do the hula dance. All right, work up your hips. Hula dancing is all about the hips. All right, I'm ready. All right. Oh. It'd be nice to be in Hawaii right now. All right, bring it around town. Where's my grass skirt? I think I left it in storage. Mm, now I know. Hula is not the same as Hulu. We've been in quarantine for too long. I'm just thinking about binge watching more shows. All right, next activity. Serve a tennis ball. Serve is in capital letters, people. So you better serve. All right, what they do is they, again, dribble the tennis ball with their racket. Then they throw it up over their heads and whack it across the net and whack. Woo. That was a good one. All right, let's dribble it again. Dribble your ball, tennis ball, throw it up over your head, and whack. You guys remember playing a lot of these games on the Wii. Let's see you serve that tennis ball. Yeah, I know. I'm a Wii pro, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, serve it. Let me see. Good job. All right, two more. Right, I am finding our next activity in the bowl. They are still stuck together. In the future, Emily, don't use post-it notes. But hopefully this gives you guys a little second to catch your breath, drink some water, and gear up for our last two activities. Here we go. Catch a football. Okay, now I know you guys know how to throw a football, but do you know how to catch a football? All right. Now, whenever I see people catching football on TV, they're like, oh, oh, where is it? Oh, 
and then they like position themselves and they run and then they catch it like it's a baby coming out of a burning building. And they like take a knee. All right, let's try it again. The ball is coming down. I got it, catch. Yeah, they're always like, I got it, I got it. Well, while I'm here, I might as well do a Tim Tebow. Yep. I mean, might as well. Last one, because I'm getting tired. I don't know about you guys. Skateboarding. All right, I can be Tony Hawk for a minute or so. All right, yeah, I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm a skateboarder. All right, here we go. I'm skateboarding downhill. Mm -hmm. It's kind of the same like surfing, but not as much moving. All right, now what you're going to do with your leg, you're going to push yourself. Push. Push off the foot onto the ground and keep your balance. Now you can even jump and do a trick if you know how. I don't know how, but I do know how to jump. You guys, that is it for today. I am so tired and it is so hot out here. But I had so much fun hanging out with you guys today. Have fun in the morning show and we'll see you later. Hey, thank you Emily for today's exercise. Not only have you had your workout done, didn't you also have fun in making those charades? Okay, let's do our morning show. Today's observances. Our first observance is Couple Appreciation Day. Today, those who are in a relationship do something to show their appreciation for their partner. Next is Global Love Day. Though Global Love Day sounds pretty similar to Valentine's Day and has something to do with love, uh, they are totally different. Global Love Day, which is a minor observance compared to Valentine's Day, mainly serves as a reminder that anything can be achieved when we attune our minds to the frequency of unconditional love. Next is International Tuba Day. A tuba is a large brass wind instrument of bass pitch with three to six valves and a broad bell typically facing upward. It is also the lowest pitched musical instrument in the brass family. Here in the US, a person who plays the tuba is known as a tubist. In the UK, a person who plays the tuba in an orchestra is known simply as a tuba player. And in a brass band or a military band, they are known as bass players. Next is International Space Day a day that encourages the public and especially the youth to learn more about space and space exploration. And our last observance for today is National Chocolate Parfait Day. Now, time for our challenges. Love is not just about couples. Love can be expressed to your siblings, parents, and friends. Also, you can express your love to other things such as places, things, or actually pretty much anything. Why don't you have a discussion about who or what you love and why? Make sure to take turns sharing your thoughts. Another topic you can have a discussion with is about space. You know, space is a broad topic, so why not start somewhere close, like our neighboring planets? Today in history. Today, in the year 1840, the world's first adhesive stamp became available for purchase in the UK. The stamp was sufficient for a letter less than half an ounce to be sent anywhere within the UK. The stamps included an engraving of the young Queen Victoria and were separated from their sheets by cutting them with scissors. Also today, in the year of 1931, President Herbert Hoover officially dedicates New York City's Empire State Building pressing a button from the White House that turns on the building's lights. Hoover's gesture, of course, was symbolic. While the president remained in Washington, D.C., someone else flicked the switches in New York. The idea of the Empire State Building is said to have been born of a competition between Walter Chrysler of the Chrysler Corporation and John Jacob Raskob of General Motors to see who could build the taller building. Chrysler had already started working on the famous Chrysler Building, a gleaming 1,046-foot skyscraper in Midtown Manhattan. Not to be bested, Raskob assembled a group of well-known investors to build an even taller building. 
at the time of its completion, the Empire State Building at 102 stories and 1,454 feet became the world's tallest skyscraper. Okay, for some questions for you. The first stamp has a name. Try to find out what it is. Also, the Empire State Building lost its title as the world's tallest building to New York's World Trade Center. Can you guess in what year did that happen? Important figures born today. Today, in 1967, Tim McGraw was born. Tim McGraw is a country music star. Can you name some songs he sang? Also, Tim McGraw is married to another star. What is her name? Important figures who passed today. Pope Pius V passed away on the 1st of May of 1572 of what is believed to be cancer. He was buried in the Vatican. Pope Pius V declared the person as a doctor of the church. Can you find out what that person's name is? The Daily Weather Today's forecast, it will be partly cloudy with a high of 80 and a low of 60. Chance of rain is 10% and humidity is 59%. In summary, it looks like the weather took a different turn and delayed the high temperatures for a couple of days. This means that today and the weekend is going to be pretty good after all. And that is our weather for today. Local News The U.S. Postal Service is busy delivering hundreds of thousands of packages daily, and they are in need of more workers. The Postal Distribution Center in South L.A. is the busiest in the country. More than 2,000 employees work there, sorting and processing hundreds of thousands of packages every single day. Manager Daniel Hirai says at the South LA facility alone, he needs to hire around 500 employees and hundreds more at other Southern California Postal Service facilities. During the holidays, a busy day here means about 600,000 packages are sorted out and processed for delivery. On a recent day, the facility processed just under 800,000 packages. And that is our local news for today. It's time for our fun and games. We're doing Survey Says. We're looking for six answers. And our question for today is, name something that you might find in a breakfast buffet. We're gonna give you 30 seconds to come up with an answer. Are you ready? Let's go. Time's up! Time to reveal the answers. For our number 6 answer, it's coffee. For number 5 answer, orange juice. Our 4th answer, potatoes. The 3rd one, sausage. Number two answer is bacon. And number one answer, eggs. How did it go? Did you get the top answer? If you got one of these answers, congratulations. If not, hey, there's always a next time. That is all we have for today's episode. Hope you learned something.
Again, thank you for joining us. Have a great weekend. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.